many individuals in this world, many people in this world, and more specifically those individuals, male and female, who are on YouTube, YouTubers, those individuals who are on TikTok, TikTokers, those individuals who are on Snapchat, those individuals who are on Instagram, and these individuals who are on these social media platforms, some of them, they want to have something known as fame. They are after fame. They want to be famous. The more subscribers I have, the more famous I am. The more views I have, the more respect I have. So people will make all sorts of videos. Specifically on TikTok, they will do anything. They will do anything. They will do silly things. Act like a, a, a joker basically, a silly individual, just to get views. 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, 1 million views. Similarly on YouTube, they will do anything, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, a beautiful verse, Allah says, وَتُعِزُّ مَنْ تَشَاء وَتُذِلُّ مَنْ تَشَاء Allah gives izza to whomever He wishes. And Allah gives dhilla. Allah gives disgrace to whomsoever He wishes. بِيَدِكَ khair In His hand, all khair is in His hand. In Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Did you understand the verse? Allah is telling you and I that you know izza. Honor, dignity only belongs to Allah. Only Allah can give it to you. You may even have 50 million subscribers. That does not mean you have izza. That just means people know you. It doesn't mean that you have izza. Just for example, you have Donald Trump. Millions, if not billions of people know this individual. Does he have izza? Does he have respect? I would say majority of the world don't respect him. But he has millions and billions of uh, people that know him. Similarly, our Boris Johnson, similarly him, millions and billions of people know him. Does everyone show him izza? Does everyone show him dignity and respect? No, they don't. And that goes with, with hundreds of examples of people who have views, people who have uh, subscribers, but they don't have respect, they don't have izza, because izza belongs to Allah, and only Allah can give that to you. And this is where the topic comes of this, this singer who I wanted to speak to you about today. There's one Muslim singer, Muslim. He lives and he resides in India. A place known as Hyderabad. He's a Muslim, he's a rapper, rap artist, having over 2 million su subscribers. And each of his videos, they have 50, 60 million views. In fact, one of his, view, one of his videos has reached 500 million views. 500 million views. And he's, he's, a, he's a youngster. As far as I'm aware, he's a teenager or he's a young adult. Maybe 20, 21, 22. He has everything. He has fame. He has money. And he's living the life. And this is what people want, right? They want to live the life. They want good money so they can have a good life. Have a good car, nice car, nice home, nice gums, look nice, smell nice. Mashallah, you have everything. Recently, this brother, like I said, a Muslim. A Muslim. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because this is what Muslims want. The Muslims of today, brothers and sisters, they want this. They want to get famous. Our Muslim brothers and sisters, our Muslim sisters who are wearing the hijab, for example, hijabis who are dancing and singing on TikTok, they want to get famous. They want, they want pesa, they want money. They want to be like these, these pop stars, like Drake, like this Travis Scott that we mentioned last week, like Beyonce and all the other pop stars. They want to be like them, yes or no? Or they want to be like Messi or Ronaldo, like Muhammad Salah, they want to be like these people. One of the reasons why, because they're living the life. They have money. 
If you have money, you can do things. They have a nice house. They have a, a smashing car. Not the car that you see on the street, Audis. No, 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 we're talking Bentleys. We're talking uh, Bugattis. And they drive that like just casually. <laughs> they go namaz with that. <laughs> Park it outside, they pray Zohar. And, and when they go for Asr, they take a Ferrari out. For Maghrib, they might take a Porsche out. That's if they're connected to Islam, they're connected to the deen. But generally, you don't find that. So anyway, back to this brother I was talking about. His name is Ruhan Arshid. His name is Ruhan Arshid. Barakallahu fee. Like I said, he, he's living the life. And, this is, and, and he is in his prime. He hasn't even reached his, his, the, the, the peak of, of his fame. Peak of his uh, career in the music industry. He's just started, he's a young lad. And just recently, I think two days ago, three days ago, whenever it was, he made a video that I am doing Toba and I'm leaving the music industry, I'm quitting music. I'm leaving. Because I've understood it's haram. And it doesn't give, which he mentions other places, that it doesn't give me that satisfaction, which people think that it does. It doesn't give me that peace. Yes, I go rap in certain places, I make videos, I may have money, I may have pesa, I have millions, but I am not happy. I don't sleep at night time. And I understand this is not what Allah wants. Even though the youngsters want this, yes or no? They want this. They want that lifestyle. He's saying, I'm leaving that. And he's asking the, the, his, his fans to give him ideas of a halal earning, a halal livelihood. And people wrote in the comments certain things like do nasheeds and Allah knows best what he's going to do. Or do vlogging and Allah knows best. But he left that for the sake of Allah. This is what he said, I left it for the sake of Allah. I'm doing this just for Allah. That I know it's haram and this is getting me away from Allah. And I need to get close to Allah. So we congratulate this brother. Barakallahu fi. Mubarak to you. And may Allah bless you. And may Allah make it easy for you. May Allah make you uh, successful in what you, what you are about to uh, embark on.